Hello everyone. We will begin in a minute. Hello everyone, a very good day to all of you. Thank you for joining us today for our My Oracle Support Knowledge Series Part 2. This is a three-part series and for our second session today, 
we are presenting Oracle products maintenance and security updates. My name is Shore Sharma and I will be moderating the session. Please join me in welcoming our speaker, Vinod Yadav, Assistant Vice President, Cloud and Platform Management Services. Hi, Vinod, how are you? Thank you for being with us today. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Shorya? I'm good. Thank you so much. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping rules. Your lines will remain muted during this session. If you have any question during the presentation, please type them into the question box in your control panel. We will address your questions at the end of the session. The session is being recorded and the link will be shared with you via email. Now, without further delay, I will request Vinod to take the lead from here. Over to you, Vinod. Thank you, Shorya. So good day, friends. My name is Vinod Yadav, and I'm working as Assistant Vice President of Cloud and Platform Services team at Path Infotech. I have been working in Oracle Technologies for more than 20 years. First of all, I would like to thanks to all of you for taking time and joining us in this today's webinar. Today, I'm going to discuss about the importance of keeping your systems up to date primarily of Oracle products and how my Oracle support portal can help you in all this. If you have attended our previous session, you can notice how to diagnose and troubleshoot your Oracle systems. Today, we will discuss why and how to keep your systems up to date. So I'm sure that uh, all of you are using various Oracle products. There are some users who believe that their system is very stable and they don't need to patch or upgrade them. If you are not upgrading or patching systems on time, your system can become unstable and unsecured. But there are some users who always keep their systems up to date. I have noticed systems those are patched and upgraded on time are very stable compared to non-updated systems. In both the cases, there are some pros and cons Whatever is the case, today we will be discussing about the benefits and challenges of patching and upgrading your Oracle systems. How to plan these activities, how my Oracle support portal can be used for that. Also, we will discuss about some of the Oracle security products and options, how they are useful for your environment. So before we move forward, there is a small poll which will take less than a minute. Shorya, could you help to run this poll? There is a poll on your screens. Please take a moment to answer the question. Thank you so much, everyone. Vinod, you may proceed. Thank you, Shorya. So as I mentioned earlier, there are customers who all are running their systems with very old versions, like uh, old or almost not patched at all. This is not just about their databases. They don't upgrade or patch their operating system, middleware, Java, e-business suite even, and various other Oracle softwares. Even many times, we don't upgrade hardware firmwares too. Some cases, users find their environment stable and don't want to take a risk of making any changes in that system. As per my understanding, it is perceived stability, not really it is stable. But does it really help us in the long run? Understand, all hardware and software need regular updates and fixes. If we do not upgrade and update our systems, you will find them outdated within few years time. You can find frequent issues which need to be fixed with planned downtime. You will find frequent performance issues. Although in some cases, you may notice that slow systems become a benchmark in the user environment. Apart from all this, you miss new features which may help you in many aspects. These new features may fulfill your users' new requirement, 
can accomplish your compliance requirement and many more other benefits. Now let's discuss about patching your systems, why it is important for us to patch our systems. There are multiple reasons we need to patch our systems. There are rare chances to find new bugs in a system. Most of the cases, issues faced by us are already faced by someone and Oracle would have already created patches for that. Usually patches are available as one of the patch and later these patches are consolidated into one big patch set. The biggest challenge in an environment where we don't patch is unwanted downtime. If there are security patches, those are not applied, then you can understand the risk. In that case, downtime is not just the ch uh, challenge. Data security can be the bigger issue than anything else. You can also find performance issues as well. Apart from the regular patches, I strongly recommend installing security patches immediate after they are released. Do not wait for your schedule for security patches. And certainly a well-patched environment not just provide you the stable environment that keep your data safe and avoid unplanned downtimes. As we discussed, how important it is to patch our environment, same way it is very important for us to upgrade our systems time to time. By doing regular upgrades, not just we keep our system up to date, we keep them secured too. Almost all new upgrade comes with optimized codes and optimized hardware, which give you better performance and better security. The new versions also fixes all the bugs found in the earlier releases. So you don't need to worry about the bugs and their fixes found in the older versions. The most interesting part of new releases, they usually come with various new features which can make your application and system more efficient by using these features. Based on the new features, you can improve your application performance in terms of security, compliance, availability, and many more. However, there are many advantages by doing upgrades, but there are some challenges too, although these challenges are not big, if you plan activity properly. One challenge is application compatibility. Usually this challenge comes when we upgrade our system with a, or after a very long time. But if we do regular upgrades, then these challenges can be reduced or completely avoided. If you are using third party applications, then it is advised to inform your vendor in advance that you will be upgrading your systems to minor or a major upgrades. So they should also make the application compliant with the required versions. We can also share the expected timelines with the application vendors so they proactively work on the required versions upgrade. Also don't upgrade just one system or application but uh, keep all your systems upgraded. Otherwise you will find compatibility issues. For example, you upgraded one application, but other application where your upgraded application is integrated is not upgraded. In that case, connectivity between them can become the challenge and sometimes you may be able to connect, but the performance can become an issue. So always plan to upgrade all your systems more or less same time or in a defined period. As we discussed earlier on, uh, uh, previous slides, questions comes if we have to upgrade and update our systems regularly from where we can get these patches and upgrades. It is very simple to download these patches and updates. First, you just need an active Oracle support contract. Then you can use my Oracle support portal for the same. Just log in to support.oracle.com MOS website. After you log in, under the patches and updates tab, you can search for the required patches. There are various criteria to download the patches. You can enter the patch or bug number and platform for which you want to download the patch. Apart from this, 
you can search patches by product family like weblogic bi or big data ebs databases you can define versions for which you want to download the patch and the platform and various other conditions can be provided here you can find various other links on left side of this tab page to download the patches for ebs like uh, sun products and many more apart from patches if you are planning to download major versions of oracle products you can visit to oracle website uh, called download.oracle.com and download the required versions of the software you need also if you are using oracle linux you can visit linux.oracle.com website to subscribe to the required oracle linux channels there are various channels for different versions if you have large number of linux servers then you can also configure linux yum repository locally keeping local yum repository will save your network bandwidth and easy to patch your systems locally so before we move forward there is a small poll which will take just few more seconds Shorya, could you help to run this poll? We have another poll on the screen right now. Please submit your answers. Thank you so much, everyone. Vinod, please go ahead. Thank you, Shorya. So uh, till now, we discussed about why to patch and upgrade our systems, their advantages and the challenges. But now point is, do we have any formal policy to do all this? We wish to have stable and up-to-date system, but in reality, we don't have any policy and plan to have all this. First of all, we have to define a policy for uh, regular patching and upgrades. Keep your business informed and updated about the policy. Have their confidence and commitment for required support. This support will be like uh, plan downtime and their involvement in application testing. Share your plan and approach on uh, right time. Uh, will certainly give you the, them, the, them the confidence and you will get their full support. You can create plan as per your business requirement and the best practices you are following. Most of the business do quarterly patching. Usually they follow N-1 practice for patches and major upgrades. For example, Oracle releases uh, CPU patches in January, April, July and October every year. When October patch set released, your production system can be on July patch. But some customer always keep their systems up to date with the latest versions even. Similarly, you can follow major releases unless you need some specific features. You can follow N-1 policy for major upgrades too. All it depends on your business requirement and compliance policies and various other factors within your organization. Whatever is the case, you must have a defined policy for major upgrades too. In case, if you are using Oracle Fusion, then you have to understand that Oracle follow standard practice of regular patching and updates. Usually they give you sufficient time to do the required testing in non-production environment. But if you do not test in the defined window, they will move on and update the production without your testing. Now we understand the importance of patching and upgrading your systems on time. It is very important to plan all this on time. As we discussed on earlier slide that we have to define our policies about regular patching and upgrading our systems on time. You can define if you wish to stay with the N minus one policy or with the latest. Once, you, once your policy is created, Define your schedule calendar 
when you have to apply the patch set minor or upgrade or major upgrades after that select your team who will be leading the defined work and who will be involved in the ex execution of the work check all the integration dependencies inform the concerned people and teams and vendors about your schedule create the test plan and write down all the cases which you want to test and who will be testing create proper schedule about all these activities you can write the major and key activities or even you can have a, a very detailed plan also it is very important to update your plan time to time especially when you face some challenges in the initial cycle of your execution make sure to do the required correction in your plan so when you will do the production cutover, all these issues can be fixed, which you faced in the earlier cycles. Make sure whatever you are planning must be well documented. You can also refer various technical documents from Oracle website, like you can find the installation document from docs.oracle.com, which can help you in your prerequisites and execution of your activities. There are various MOS document available for CPU, PSU, or RUP patch sets. Even every single patch comes with a README file. So you must study these documents before you apply any changes or before you apply these patches in your environment. When we apply any patch or patch set or upgrade, we must define the approach. These approaches are like one or two non production cycles and then the production. I strongly suggest doing at least one non-production cycle. Never ever apply changes directly in your production environment, even for a standalone patch. Also, it is strongly recommended to have matching production and non-production environments. Then only it will help you testing your patches in non-production environment. When you are doing the major upgrade, make sure to raise an SR with Oracle on my Oracle support portal, sharing your plan and schedule. So in case if you are facing any challenge, Oracle technical team can help you on time. Remember one thing, Oracle support gives you technical support only in terms of identifying any bug or technical issue. They do not install patch or upgrade for you. After you plan, and start executing your project, do not change it on the fly. Stick to your plan and approach unless you face major challenge. In case if there is a major hurdle, review your plan and approach carefully, then only make the corrective action. Certainly don't forget to search on Oracle support portal or raise the SR with Oracle on right time so you can complete your project on defined timeline. So you notice that how we can plan and execute our patching and upgrade. It is very important to stay alert and informed about the patches available for your environment. There are various options on my Oracle support portal to get alert messages about security alerts and regular patch sets available. Although you can define your own calendar and set your own reminders, you can also subscribe various news channel and bulletins from Oracle site. You should also subscribe security alerts. I have mentioned Oracle security alert subscription URL here for your references. There is another MOS document ID mentioned here to subscribe about the CPU patches availability. So although we discuss about security alerts, subscription, here I wish to emphasize on security subscription and taking immediate action on all security alerts. These alerts can be related to your hardware, your operating system, your network devices, Java, database, various applications, and many more. You must take immediate action and apply patches soon after they are released do not wait for upcoming schedule so before we move, move forward there is a small and the last poll which will take less than a minute uh, shorya 
could you help to run this poll there is a fresh poll awaiting your input on your screens please take a moment to submit your answers Thanks a lot, everyone. Vinod, please go ahead. Thank you, Shorya. So, in earlier slides, we discussed a lot about the patching, upgrades, and security. You also know how important to keep your data safe. Apart from this, nowadays, government also defining various policies for banking and insurance companies. All companies must follow these compliances. Oracle has provided various security solutions which can help you to protect your data on rest, data in transit, can hide data from unauthorized people. So Oracle Audit Vault and Database Firewall audits your databases and monitors network-based activities. This will help you manage the security posture of Oracle and non-Oracle databases. You can host it in the cloud or on-premise environments. This leverage out of the box compliance reports for like uh, GDPR, PCI, DSS, HIPAA, SOX, and help you to answer many queries raised by your auditors. ABDF also uh, use predefined or you can customize SQL filters to analyze your audit records and various network logs to identify suspicious activities and abdf collects audit data from oracle and non-oracle databases your operating systems and directories whether on the cloud or even on premises abdf also protect the aggregated data in a secure repository which is safe from the tampering the database firewalls offer network-based sql inspection making it easy to identify anomalies and can block unauthorized sql including sql injections attack oracle database also has advanced security options which can provide various features the transparent data encryption stop would be attackers from bypassing the database and directly reading your sensitive information directly from the storage by enforcing the data at rest encryption feature in the database layer you can encrypt sensitive data in table columns or you can encrypt the entire table space or data export dumps and your database backups to control access to sensitive information you can also reduce the risk of unauthorized data exposure in application by redacting sensitive information before it leaves your database you can do partial or full reduction which prevent large scale extraction of sensitive data into various reports and your spreadsheets oracle data reduction includes several predefined templates so you can make use of them too Predefined reduction formats such as US social security number or credit card number, telephone numbers, and many more such things. The reduction format library provides several out of the box formats for ease of use. Even you can create a custom format by combining transformation. You can redact data based on several runtime factors. In, in the context of your database sessions, such as database users or LDAP users, database role, IP addresses, and host names. You can redact based on runtime factors in the context of application sessions, such as application user, identifier, and module. Usually, we use manual scripts or third-party tools or do not do anything for security. Oracle DataSafe is a fully integrated cloud service which is focused on security of your data. 
it provides a complete and integrated set of features for protecting sensitive and regulated data in Oracle cloud databases. Features includes like uh, security assessment, user assessment, data discovery, data masking, and activity auditing. Oracle DataSafe empowers organizations to understand data sensitivity, evaluate data risk, masking sensitive data, implement and monitor security controls, access user securities, monitor user activities, and manage Oracle Database 23 SQL firewall, all in a single and unified console. These capabilities help to manage your system's day-to-day -day security and compliance requirements of Oracle databases, both on-premise as well as in the cloud. Overall, if we look at the Oracle Data Safe in a single extensible unified cloud services that offers you, there is no complicated deployment, there is no risk of shelfware, you don't have to manage any new infrastructure, no manual upgrades required, and you don't have to pay for professional services for data safe. So friends, that's it from my side for today's session. In case if you have any query, you can write that in the chat window or you can reach out to us later on. You can also watch this session recording on your YouTube, on our YouTube channels later on. Thank you, Vinod. We will go ahead and take some time for questions now. Just a reminder to everyone, please be sure to type your queries into the question box in your control panel. It looks like we have a few questions from the attendees. Thank you for the same. We'll try and cover as many as we can. You know, I have a question from Sakshi. She's asking, I'm using an old version and Oracle is not releasing any patch. How to patch my database? Okay, for older versions, Oracle has a lifetime support policy. If you have active support for that product, then you can download patches. Those were released during the product life. However, Oracle will not provide fixes for new bugs found in the older versions. In lifetime support, Oracle provides technical support and patches those were already available. So you can download these patches from my Oracle support portal. But it is strongly recommended to stay with the version those are in currently supported by Oracle. Here's another query from Viren. He's asking, can I download patches from download.oracle.com? Okay, download.oracle.com portal is for software download only. You do, can't download patches from there. If you want to download patches, then you have to log into my Oracle support portal for your various Oracle products. For Linux RPM, Linux patches, uh, you have to log into ULN network, which is linux.oracle.com. So basically, uh, download.oracle.com is uh, full software, not for the patches. We have another question from Saurabh. His question is, is there any compliance issue if I don't patch my Oracle eBusiness suit? OK, primarily, uh, there are two types of compliances. Uh, one is from the government, like government asks certain compliance for financial and insurance companies and um, many others as well. So you have to fulfill those compliances. If you do not follow them, then you become non-compliant and uh, government can put some penalties as well. Second compliances from your own policies, for example, if you are following ISO, CMMI and any other uh, standard, in that case also, as per your internal policy, you may require to update your systems. Otherwise, you can become a non-compliant. So uh, ultimately, if you are following, uh, following in any of these category, then you have to uh, do the proper patching and stay up to date. Otherwise, we'll become a non-compliant. There's a new question on the table from Soumya. Her inquiry is, can I use Oracle AVDF for my non-Oracle environment? 
so uh, oracle database firewall uh, system secure and protect data in oracle uh, mysql like my, my microsoft sql server even sybase adaptive servers sybase sql anywhere server and ibm db2 on linux and windows databases so you can use abdf for various non oracle systems as well and basically it blocks attempted attacks logs activity and produces related warnings so uh, there are number of uh, non oracle products uh, databases which you can uh, use with abdf here's another question from bauji jha he's asking which data security is best td or else sorry td and td else okay see uh, all it depends on your requirement so there are different uh, security features for different purposes for example if you want to stop incoming attacks then the abdf is best if you want to protect your database uh, from uh, someone who can copy your data from uh, your disk then the td is best so all it depends on the situation and your the requirement what kind of security you want to place what kind of risk you have or what kind of risk you are uh, trying to mitigate so for different type of risk there are different type of products available we have another inquiry from gajanan he is asking to get the newly released patches we need to raise the sr each time or there is any fixed links to download okay for uh, new patches you don't need to raise the sr you can get the patches directly from the myoracle support portal so if you remember uh, i was showing you one of the uh, uh, tab page patches and updates so you just log into myoracle support portal uh, go to patches and uh, updates uh, tab page from there you can download the required patches all the patches for your software hardware are available there so as long as you know the patch number or even the bug number you can download it from there there is no need for separate uh, sr to be generated in the rare cases uh, it may be required but for the normal cases where uh, the latest patches uh, you need to apply those uh, patches are directly available in that specific tab page i believe that's all the questions we have for now thanks for all the queries shared as you mentioned before this is a series of webinars part 3 of the knowledge series will be coming up on 15th feb we will share the invite with you through email so do watch out for our invitation to come to you soon with that we end this webinar thank you everyone for taking the time and joining us today we appreciate you being here hope you found the session interesting and informative if you have any further queries for us kindly email me and we will reply to you my email address is shoray.sharma@pathinfotech.com we will share the recording of this webinar with all of you very soon once again thank you for joining we will see you next time thank you thank you everyone